Today we are doing a lapel mic review. This particular one, a two pack of a wireless mini lavalier lapel microphone for an iPhone or an iPad is what I believe possibly the best deal. Besides the review, in this video, I'll share with you a fix for an issue that there is with this microphone when you do something ballistic like jumping, there's a rattle in the microphone and I'll tell you how you can get around that. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey folks, welcome back to Cats and Kilos. Why am I standing so far? Because tonight I'm gonna to demonstrate these uh, lapel mics uh, that I got from Amazon. And uh, I'm wearing one right now and uh, I'm speaking in somewhat of a regular voice. And I'll demonstrate what it sounds like without a lapel mic from this distance compared to with this lapel mic. The thing with this particular one is it comes in a two pack. And in my opinion, it's a pretty good deal. I don't know if it's the best lapel mic in the world, but uh, for two of these, for the price, I think it's pretty unbeatable. The problem with this though is if you try to do something more dynamic, so you're jumping around, you can hear a rattle in the microphone. For example, I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. I'm holding the box too, so that might have been something. I did a video uh, demonstrating a shuffle dance move earlier or previously, and uh, you could definitely hear a microphone rattle. So let's see if we can replicate it. I'm not sure if you can hear the rattle or not. Anyway, but I think I have a fix to that, believe it or not. I think where the rattle was coming from is the uh, button that you would use to turn the microphone on or off. And so wrapping some tape around it, I'm now gonna turn on the second microphone by pushing that button and I get a green light, which means that it's on. It's as simple as it is. And if we put that on now, does it make a difference? I don't know, first time I'm using this, right? Let's try it. Did it make a difference? I'll have to double check the video to see. But um, I think it does only because when I did it with uh, the tape versus without, I could hear a rattle when I do this. But with the tape, I did not hear the rattle. So this is the uh, just some scotch tape that I wrapped around the microphone, right? The scotch tape wrapped around the microphone just to hold that button in place so it doesn't rattle. That's all I did. And right, there's a microphone, tiny little microphone, wrapped the scotch tape around it to hold that uh, button, the power button in place so it wouldn't rattle. And it seemed to have worked. So let's see what this sounds like without a microphone, without this lapel mic. Just a regular iPhone camera mic at this distance. Okay, so here I am at the same distance, speaking in the same volume uh, that I was before, and um, you should notice a difference. All right, so we're back with a lapel mic. You should be able to notice a difference in the volume. I'm trying to speak at the same volume that I was without wearing it. That way it could be a fair test. If you decide to get it, it comes in a small box, tiny little box like this, and it's got two mics, right? It's got, you know, the first and the second lapel mic, so you can have your partner that you were interviewing, you know, in your show, whatever you got to do, or you could have just an extra microphone on the side. And it comes a couple of little clips that you could stick on the back of this and pin it to your shirt. Pretty subtle, right? They're tiny, so you're really not going to notice them very much. The sound is a little bit different compared to not uh, using a microphone. So when you're just using your iPhone, you can hear a little bit more of the background sound compared to when you use this, it sounds a little more like you're in a smaller room, maybe a confined space, which may be okay. It blocks, I guess, out some, uh, some of the background noise, which might be good, but if you're not used to it, it might just seem a little bit strange. One thing to note though is if you get this and you're thinking, hey, you know what? Instead of uh, putting a piece of tape on it, if I'm gonna do something more aggressive, maybe I'm jumping, maybe I'll use it as a boom mic and put it overhead, you know, to see if it'll do that, capture the noise. Maybe the way my uh, iPhone would or cell phone, it won't work. Once you have it a, a certain distance away from you, I mean, it's made to be a lapel mic. It won't work as a boom mic. I've tried it. It won't pick up the sound. It's too far. So if you're going to use it 
at a distance thinking I can just stick it up somewhere and use it as an extra microphone and, uh, you know, I can do really aggressive movements. It's not going to work. It uh, may work with a piece of tape on it if you're going to do something aggressive so you won't hear that little rattle when you're jumping around, but um, you're not going to be able to use it as a boom mic. All right, so I'm a lot closer because I've taken off the microphone now, so I'm a lot closer so you can hear me better, but we said it comes with a couple of microphones and it comes with this little uh, thing here. This is the receiver that you would just stick into your iPhone. Uh, it fits in there nicely and uh, you can see now that this thing is blinking because there's no signal. It lets you know that there's no connection because I've taken out the receiver. It comes in a tiny package. It comes in this small package. This is what came in the package. You can see the uh, two microphones, uh, the small little microphones. These are little clips um, that would fit on the microphones so you can stick them on uh, your lapel. And uh, this is that uh, little piece that fits into your iPhone. It's the receiver, right? And then the USB wire that you would use to power up your microphones. So is it worth it? Absolutely. I mean, it's not a great microphone, but um, if you're going to need something where you're a little bit further away from your camera to uh, pick up the sound, for sure. I mean, it's, it's so cheap, it's almost disposable. You know, it's definitely worth it. If you are interested in it, we've got a link in the description. Check it out. Um, an Amazon link. You know, you can check it out or purchase it, whatever you want to do. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. As always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. We would love to have you as a subscriber. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.